Hello to you. I'm Jesse Johnson. This is Her Story and His Story, a short chronology from 5895 B.C. to the flood of Noah of 2239 B.C. to 522 B.C. Humankind is composed of womankind, or all human females, and mankind, or all human males. Sex is male and female, and is the superstructure of our species. This is a very short chronology of our species' past, which is divisible into four parts. One, 200,000 years B.C. to 100,000 years B.C. Number two, 100,000 years B.C. to 10,000 years B.C. Number three, 10,000 years B.C. to zero years B.C. Four, zero years A.D. to 2050 A.D. On prior videos I made, the dating was incorrect. Why? Because I use Zecharia Sitchin's and mainstream evolution dates. Both are contaminated and corrupt and presents a non-existent past of humankind. It never happened. There are two groups of elites. The good elite, who stand for human well-being, freedom, and the good and total of all forms of life on earth. Then the evil elite who stand for the total enslavement of humanity, removal of all human rights and civil rights, suppression of free speech, the elimination of almost all life on earth for their personal, political, and financial gain of the moment. The complete removal of our species' true, T-R-U-E, true, her story and his story, replacing it by a totally fabricated one taught in a world education system of corruption and psycho and physical, physical enslavement. Governments do not have their own money. Militaries don't have their own money. Our money creates them. Yet, the evil elite use them, our government and our militaries, against us. There are reasons for this. These here are a few reasons we humans don't have our complete recorded past. Cataclysms which have buried and destroyed whole societies. Wars destroying libraries, book burnings, etc. For uncontaminated and uncorrupt dates of ancient past dates, I'm using Dr. Jason Belshears, B-E-L-S-H-E-A-R, Dr. Jason Belshears' work of archaics, A-R-C-H-A-I-X. Archaics, which can be be found on YouTube. YouTube has become a suppressor and censorer and denier of free speech. Because of listening to the evil elites has become a form of Hitler's book burning. The evil elite are against almost every form of truth, replacing truth with its reversal, which is made of deceptions and lies. And they cannot completely enslave the whole human race, their goal, because of the good elites. To begin, first, Zacharia Sitchin, S-I-T-C-H-I-N, Zacharia Sitchin, used years in place of days. The Anunnaki appeared 432,000 days, not years. 432,000 days is equal to 1,200 years when divided by 360 day years. Number two, second one, we don't live in a heliocentric universe. We live in a flat earth universe. Third, evolution as taught in colleges, universities, schools never happened as taught. Fourth, her story 
and his story as taught in all schools at all levels in all forms of city, state, nation, international, world, and, and so forth absolutely never happened as such. Now, I'm going to show you this simple written out illustration of her historical and historical dates. A very short list indeed. Now, Please hold on, I'm going to move the camera. To begin, we will go through 1 through 30. We will start at 5895 BC, number 1, the furthest, earliest ancient records. Number 2, the Vedic material is the oldest known human records. Number 2, 5239 B.C. Number 1, this is the start of the simulacrum. Number 2, the Anak, Anak or Ananuki, Anak epics. We, uh, I forgot to put a question mark, that, but that should be, a, I, that I needed to put a question mark right here, but nonetheless, let's continue. Number 3. The Dark Star Cataclysm in 5239 B.C. We'll go to number 3, 5095 B.C., it, which is 1,200 years before humans are banished, most likely from what's called Edens. Edens, E means house of, and Den is a place name, or a city name, or a country name, whatever. But nonetheless, number 4, 5039 B.C. is the old moon. We have had two moons known in our record, human recordation. There were two moons. The, the, the one that we see today up in the sky is a brand new moon. But in 5039 B.C. the old moon disintegrates and leaves, uh, leaves a big mess all over the surface of the earth when it did. Now, Number 5, 4639 B.C. Number 1, the earth arrives. This here material is taken from Zechariah Sitchin's work, of which is incorrect. Even though I put it here, Zechariah Sitchin's work has been contaminated by the evil elite. Also, number 2, the brand new moon appears. Also, this is a question mark also. Now, 4309 B.C. is the first appearance of the phoenix, which is on a 138-year cycle. From, and, and, and there has been 6,348 years of phoenix, which is equal to 45, 45 visits, visits, and the 46th visit is coming up in 2040 A.D., which will cause a mess also. On the surface of the earth, number 4040 BC is the Giza, G I Z A, the Giza calendar begins and it ends in 2045 AD. 4039 BC, number 1, a brand new moon arrives. The surface of this moon is smooth. Number 2, the moon, because it is a brand new moon, causes a gigantic, almost world flood called the Capture Flood. Number three, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn come very close to the Earth's surface and pr produces plasma bolts of lightning, which makes the moon's craters, e electrifying the firmament. Also, humans think it is gods that are fighting above their heads. 3908 to 2239, which is 1,639 years to the, to, cata, to the cataclysm periods. 3895 B.C., number one, humans are banished. This is more straightforward than the other one I told you of. Humans are banished. And number two, a magnetic pole shift is has taken place on the earth. Number three, year one of the Anna Mundi calendar, even though I forgot to put it, it's year one. Number four, the Phoenix first appearance. Number five, 
that's up in the sky, and it covers the goes across the sun and and darkens out the sun and so forth. Number five, the rain canopy begins to form. This is what caused the great flood of Noah. We'll go to thirty four thirty nine B.C. We'll start with zero at thirty four thirty nine to twenty two thirty nine B.C. The ten kings and the ten queens, Ryan for 1,200 years. Number one, the Gihon flood, which is a gigantic flood almost equaling the great flood of Noah. Number two, the Anunnak arrival, Anunnaki, Anunnak arrival in sailing and paddle ships on sea, not from the sky. This is the evil elite who has turned this around and contaminated our our dating system. Number three, the Anunnak are called the Watchers. Number four, the first Nemesis arrival. One third of human population dies. Uh, it, it creates cataclysms. Number five, Anunnaks in North America. 3319 BC, the rain canopy starts to thicken. Number 30, th pardon me, 13. 3121 B.C., the Maya Itza Temple is built. 3113 B.C., the Mayan Long Count calendar begins. Of 13 Bactuns, or Bactuns, to up to 2046 A.D. Number, pardon me, 15, 3102 B.C., the Brahmanic Kali Yuga Age begins. Let's continue, please. Number 16, 3100 years B.C. Number 1, the Sumerian Enoch, also called Etana, starts to reign. Number 2, Egyptian Namer, Scorpion King, reigns. Number, pardon me, 17, 2844 B.C. The Coptic date for the first pyramid building in the 61st year of the calendar. This is the first pyramid, a date for the first pyramids ever built in the world. 2839 B.C. is the birth of Noah. 2815 B.C. the Great Pyramid of Giza began at 2905 B.C. and it is finished after 90 years in 2815 B.C. 2334 B.C., number 20 here, the overriding of the protocol programs of AIX is set in place. 2239 B.C., in yellow and in a box, is the great world flood of Noah. Number two, the rain canopy sky collapses to create this great flood. Number, pardon me, 22 08 B.C., the Great Pyramid of Giza is structured to override AIX, Cataclysm. 2126 B.C., the Igigi emerge from underground, wages war on the Anunnak, Anunnaki that is, for not helping them in their greatest time of need, creating Two elite groups, one the good elites, the other the evil elites, in and have been in conflict to this present day of 2023 A.D. and forward. 1947 B.C., the birth of Abraham. 1849 B.C., the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. 1740 B.C., the dark star is magnified. By by rain by another rain canopy. Sixteen eighty seven. Sixteen eighty seven is the Ogygian flood. The dark star is magnified by a, a much thinner, thinner rain canopy, which passes away. Now 
1359 B.C., 880 years after this great cataclysm. 7, 7, 13 B.C., the sun retrogrades 10 degrees. 522 B.C., Phoenix and Nemesis are together for the first time in one for the first time in one year. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching and please share this video and subscribe and have a very fine day.